How's the lag? Hey, remember guys, so I don't have to repeat myself over and over because I don't have that much time to play. Uh, the netcode is really good. It's it's what's expected out, off of rollback. All right, this is not Street Fighter 4 netcode where you're playing underwater. This is, if you're familiar with the Street Fighter Cross Tekken netcode, post 2013, okay? <laughs> Um, that one. That one is really, really good. Alright, so... Where was I? Oh, yeah. I said Big Daddy combos. What can I do if I get a fucking... Okay, that. That's my Big Daddy combo. That's a Big Daddy combo. That's just... What, like 55% or so? So if I have full meter... Okay. Uh, let me see. V trigger in the middle of the screen. It's about the same amount of damage. Which stun is that though? Oops. Start battle. Please turn on attack data. All right, you guys want attack attack data on? I got you. All right, all right, all right. Um. Oops. Key display on. Attack data on. Okay, let's start battle. All right, you guys want to see all this stuff, right? See, look, I'm not, I'm not blinking. I'm just, I'm double tapping. This is what we used to do pre Street Fighter Four: is double tap with everything. No, no blinking. So stuff like this. See that? There's no. That says new sweep. Like that. One, uh, uh, super is quarter circle forward twice with one button. You don't have to push three buttons. So. Did that work? Too far. There. Can I do it with? I'm um, yeah. Um, the, uh, so I would recommend if you combo in this game to double tap. That way, because sometimes you don't push the button hard enough, or maybe you push it too fast or whatnot. Double tapping is 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 really good for your muscle memory. Um, it gives you a good rhythm of pushing every button. Like you'll you'll start to. You play it by sound and feel versus doing it one button at a time. If you, I mean, it's possible, of course, you can always combo one button at a time. Like, like that was only three buttons, right? But in reality, when you're playing so many matches, everything that you're pushing, right? You want to make sure that the button comes out. That's why you double tap to make sure the button comes out. Sometimes when you push a button, you're like, what the fuck? I pushed a button, but nothing comes out. That's why double tapping is uh, highly recommended, okay? And it just happens. I mean, how many times have you heard, Oh, fuck, I pushed roundhouse. Or I pushed strong. What the fuck? I pushed this. Maybe you could have helped your chances by double tapping. In Street Fighter 4 World, you you plink to help your... Uh, um, to, uh, to tighten up the gap of the, the one-frame links, right? There you go. All right, so. Oh, I can do low strong? Really? So, okay, <laughs> I don't have to go standing, standing medium punch.
Damn, I wish I can play longer, guys, but I'm only here maybe for another half hour or so. At least I got on. At least I got on, guys, and, and I'm, I'm really thankful for that, so, you know, I, I get my time <laughs> with Street Fighter V. Freestylish. Throw me some fireballs. Give me some V-Trigger. Again. Like, oh, shit. Again. Here, I'll throw some fireballs. Alright, good shit. V trigger yet. <laughs> Another thing I want to practice in training mode is uh, when people block a normal attack, they receive gray damage. So I want to see what you know. I want I want to experiment with that. I gotta try Fierce Upper. Oh. Alright, well, let's go. Are oh, we in there? No, you, you can't chip to kill in this game unless it's a super. So if you, some of you guys are wondering how that works. Is Saget's fake standing roundhouse and Street Fighter 4 a good example of double tapping? I, I guess, yeah. 